Morning, James from the 11 Plus Tutors here. And um, today I'm gonna to talk about converting between units. This is an 11 Plus favorite. I'd be very, very surprised if this topic doesn't come up in the exam. So it's essential that children know this stuff. So today I'm not gonna be covering how many grams in the kilogram, how many centimeters in the meter, that kind of thing. But your child does definitely need to know those standard um, unit equivalents, definitely. Um, when we convert units, what we're essentially doing is either multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000, sorry, dividing by 10, 100, 1,000, or multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000, or more. The thing that kids get wrong the most is um, they're never sure whether they're dividing or multiplying. Sometimes they get flushed and they get confused. And I use this simple diagram to illustrate that when we go from a small unit to a large unit, like a kilometre or, or, or a tonne or whatever, you're going to end up with less of them because they're bigger when you convert, so you divide. When you go from a very big unit, like a uh, you know, kilometre, to a small unit, like millimetres, you're going to end up with loads of them when you convert, so you multiply it. Uh, so let's look at, at some examples. So if we go from 10 centimetres, um, if we're converting to metres, what we do is we're going from a small unit to a big one, so we're dividing, okay? And there are 100 centimetres in a, in a metre, so we're dividing by 100. So I'll get kids to write this down. Underline the zeros, there are two zeros, so there are two jumps in the decimal. So with a whole number, the decimal will be here, we jump that two positions, so if you end up here, you end up with 0.1 metres. Here we're going from large unit to a small unit. So we're going here, so we're multiplying. There are a thousand grams in a kilogram, so times a thousand. I would underline each of those zeros. You've got three jumps in the decimal. When we multiply, we go the way we read and write. When we divide, we go the opposite direction. Um, so in this case, what we do is jump three positions because we've got three zeros. One, two, three. You notice when we jumped over the two, we ran out of numbers. That's no problem, we had zero. So we end up with 1,200 grams. Now, what you find um, in the 11 plus is, what they'll do is they'll say 1.5 meters and you've got to convert straight to millimeters just to see if kids are copying on. So I would just break it down. So. I would say 1.5 meters to centimeters, you're times in 100, and then go from centimeters to millimeters, you're times it by 10 again. So what you're actually doing is doing three jumps in total. So we go one, two, three, run out of numbers, zero, zero, 1,500 millimeters. This is definitely worth your child mastering because there are no cast iron guarantees in the 11 plus, but I don't think I've ever seen a paper without some kind of unit conversion in a question, hidden in a worded question, or just a blatant unit conversion question with numbers. Definitely worth, worth learning. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.